Today's math lesson is lesson 19. It is on applying the distributive property to decompose units through division. Uh, I'm gonna do number three from their homework. And we're looking at number three, which states Alex draws an array to find the answer to 35 divided by five. Explain Alex's strategy. So as you can see, So what Alex has done here is he's broken the array up. And the way that he's broke the way that he's broken it up is he's taken 35 divided by 5. He's taken 35 and he's divided it up into two parts. So this is four rows of five, as you can see here. So that's 20 total gray dots. And there are five in each row. And so there is four rows. And then down here with, this, with the white dots, you have 15 total. And you have five in each row. And there are three rows. So as you can see, that's how the 35 has been distributed. It's been distributed as 20 and 15. So he's broken up 35 as into 20 and 15. Both 20 and 15 can be divided by five. And so if you add those two up, you get 35. And if you add up your two answers, four plus three equals seven. So if you, the kids need to explain Alex's strategy, all they need to say is Alex used the distributive property and the distributive property so he did use the distributive property to break up the problem into smaller parts into smaller parts and that's what that's what the distributive property is all about and you can use it for multiplication like we did last week but you can also use it like division in lesson 19.